guys, what's going on? My name's Eclipse, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. So today, the brand new card, the Elite Barbarians, were released. So for 100 gems, we can pretty much get a Barbarian with a helmet. So I'm not too sure if I'm the only one who thinks this, but whenever Supercell releases a new troop, I feel like they just add a helmet to it and call it an original idea. Let's just think about that for a second. You have the guards, a Mega Minion, Inferno Dragon, and now... The Elite Barbarians. I can see they have a lot of originality, but nonetheless, let's just buy this card for 100 gems, and let's just see how good it is. So there it goes, 100 gems for 400 Elite Barbarians. So I'm just gonna switch to a random deck right now. I don't actually use this deck. This deck right here is more for just like shits and giggles, I guess. So there is the Elite Barbarian. He is level one right now. So I'm just gonna grab another screenshot, and now we can level this card up to whatever level it can go to I think we can get it to maybe level seven or eight if I'm lucky but let's just see so right now it's level three we're gonna keep on going and then once this is leveled up we're just gonna go do a grand challenge or maybe a classic challenge I'm not too sure yet but I just want to test out the card and see how good it actually is because at the moment I still have never actually touched this card and I haven't really looked at too much gameplay of it either so I'm pretty much a really big noob when it comes to the card now right here the card is only almost done and we can actually get it to level 8 which is good now one thing which I do want to show you guys real quickly is the brand new duplication spell so this card will be out in 14 days so that's somewhere in December I'll put the date on the screen but if you're reading the description it says duplicates all friendly troops in the target area clone troops are fragile but pack the same punch as the original doesn't affect building so this is an epic spell and it costs 3 elixir and if you guys have been sub to me for a while you would know I posted a leak probably like two to three weeks ago and so far everything I said in that leak has been 100% true so with that being said it's pretty safe to say that this last legendary is going to be the electric wizard now since I have that all taken care of I'm just gonna make a new deck but I'll be right back once we're in a challenge okay so I am back with a deck which I hope is good and if you were curious on what the deck I made is boom you can look at it right there and I've never really used the graveyard before either so hopefully Hopefully this goes well to start things off though let's just put an ice wizard in the back let's put an inferno tower down just to take care of that hog and since the ice wizard is pushing what do I want to push with I mean I can't send a graveyard in but I feel like that's kind of a waste and as far as sending a miner in alone I don't think that's good either and elite barbarians I'm pretty sure are mainly for defense so you know what let's actually just go with it let's get Crap, we're going to get that right there. We're also going to put the graveyard spell down as well. The archers are going to get stuck on that. Crap, this guy does actually have the ice. Oh my god, he put a lot down right there. But as I was saying, he does have the ice golem, which is a really good counter to the graveyard spell. And that push right there really wasn't that good. So let's get these elite barbarians set up. Okay, let's get the elite barbs down. I'm actually going to log all that back. Boom, let's take care of that. There go the elite barbs. Crap, he fireballed those out of there. Get the minions down to take care of that mega minion it quick oh my god this is actually kind of close <laughs> so far initial impressions um, if they can be taken out by a fireball that does scare me a bit also this guy has a pretty good deck to counter my deck so that really isn't going in my way as well so right now I feel like we're at a pretty big disadvantage but hopefully things can go well so next up let's just get another ice wizard down and prepare for defense since that guy is kind of you know chilling over there let's just get another push going terrible minor placement must I add but here we go we got a decent push over there he did log me out but we're actually getting some pretty good damage and now right here I'm just gonna log all of that back to do some damage to those archers now I probably should expect a hog rider to be coming in on this right side um hog rider no hog rider I guess let's just get some minions down to take care of that mega minion and yeah right now things are going actually pretty well for us we are losing which does suck but I feel like not all hope is lost so I'm gonna zap that out let's get an inferno tower down with an ice wizard down um hopefully we can manage to come in clutch on this guy he does have an archer just going in over there oh my god so right now unfortunately we're losing but I feel like not all hope is lost so this time I'm gonna put the graveyard spell a little bit differently crap that was actually a really bad placement I was trying something new maybe trying to mix it up a bit but that really didn't work out too well for us so next up I'm gonna try oh crap I should have logged that back what was I really thinking there but um okay yeah that was actually really ugly on our end let's never do that again like let's just make a 
commitment to never ever do that again because that was ugly right there now right here I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up losing this and since this guy did just kind of waste his ice golem that kind of gives us some leeway here and I know this guy is a fireball so if you waste that then I guess I can send those mega barbs in as well so let's just go all out with the push right here let's get a minor on that half next up we need to get a graveyard spell kind of quick let's put it right there hopefully that graveyard spell doesn't screw us up too bad um they're probably actually gonna go towards the king tower with that one that was actually really bad now I understand we did lose that battle, but I want to say part of that was just because his deck was a perfect counter to me. Let's go back and take a look at that. So if we come over here to our attack log, as you can see, this is like the perfect meta deck. He pretty much has the best deck to counter me. So I'm not too sure if I want to change the deck up or keep it or try it again. There's a lot of things going through my mind right now. So we're just going to get into another battle with this same deck. If we lose this, I'll change it. If I win, I'll keep it for another battle because let's be real, we just lost one battle against someone who had a really good deck and I understand I said this guy had a good deck enough so I'm gonna shut up now because I'm sure you don't care and if this guy has the same identical hog deck I am gonna be pissed let's cross our fingers and hope he doesn't so this guy actually has a mini P.E.K.K.A. so real quickly I'm actually gonna get a little oh my god when did he put that giant down my hand was covering the screen I didn't even see that now unfortunately this guy has a lot of crap coming towards me but on the bright side look at that push we just managed to get off over there we completely shut him out and we did 1500 damage on the top right I got extremely lucky there because his giant and mini P.E.K.K.A. could have done work but I dodged a bullet with that one so I'm gonna zap that mega minion out just so I don't take any damage and from here I'm just gonna play it slow I don't want to make any stupid mistakes now I have to be smart about this there's a furnace so I really hate the furnace so to take that out um, I'm gonna actually send the miner on that in a second I want to wait until I can actually send a graveyard in so Boom, let's get a miner there. Let's get a graveyard over there. And hopefully this goes well. Come on, push. Do well for me, push. Oh my god, he put a giant down. Hopefully we can take out the giant. Okay, that, that didn't work at all so <laughs> right here I'm just gonna put this inferno tower down hopefully that can shut out that giant I'm gonna put minions on the back there just to take care of that mega minion I'm gonna log everything back crap that didn't work oh my god mini P.E.K.K.A. mini P.E.K.K.A. what are you doing <gasps> oh my god are you kidding me mini P.E.K.K.A. why did that guy's mini P.E.K.K.A. do so well where were my minions my minions just they disappeared on me that right there was not good whatsoever I I think we need a new deck after this one. The deck may be fine, but I can't play it to save my life. So right here, let's just try to get another push going. Maybe we can successfully take down one tower. Now, I really do hate this for... Oh, crap. We're at Tiny Lake. So you know what? Let's try to push with these Elite Barbarians. Let's see how this goes. So I'm going to send a Miner in on that. Next up, I'm going to put my Graveyard Spell right there. Come on. Take everything out. You can do it. There goes the Graveyard Spell in the back next. We need to get that Inferno Tower down. Unfortunately, he did log me out and he does have some archers but we're not giving up yet zap quick oh my god we missed the zap i am i'm, I'm kind of losing faith at this point i'm gonna try to log that out right there um yeah this guy he is absolutely smacking us right now i don't know what's going on i'm just gonna take the l on this one in the meantime i'm gonna go look for another deck but once i have that deck we're gonna be into another battle because right now Things aren't going my way. We can't win. We can't play. We can't do anything right now. Okay, so I'm back and I have a new deck. And this one was sent to me from Jewish Lewish. So if I lose, go hate on Jew. Actually, never mind. Hate on me. All these losses are my fault. And then I like creating excuses for him. But it just makes me feel better. I'm sure you guys all do it too. Now, we are against Dark King Yoni. And to start things off, since this is a scumbag furnace deck, I'm just going to put a furnace down. And I'm not too sure what types of pushes. I'm supposed to be doing with this deck, but let's just cross our fingers and hope everything goes well um, I'm not really too sure what I want to be doing right now So this guy does have a lava hound which kind of sucks and if you're wondering why it sucks because I don't really have a lot of air You know what? Let's just try this crazy push out screw this guy Let's go elite barbarians and mine are going in elite barb smacking away. Come on. Let's get a zap spell ready for this Boom, take all those out, get an ice spirit there. Look at the elite barbarians going, boom. 
boat. Come on, Elite Barbs. Take out the entire tower. You can do it. So right there, we kind of had pretty good pushes. I did a good amount of damage. He did a good amount of damage. And right now, things aren't going too bad. So again, I'm going to get a furnace down. But instead of putting it on the other side, I'm just going to put it right here. And next up, what I am going to do is let's just put a princess down to try to get some chip damage off. Um, I'm going to send a log in real quickly. Boom, there goes that. Princess still going in. There goes the fire spirits to clean those up. And so far, we're actually doing really well against this guy. I'm really liking the direction that this battle is heading in. Next up, I'm going to send a miner in and an ice spirit. The ice spirit does 100 damage alone. And yeah, oh crap, he put a mega minion down. Not a big deal though. We have the furnace again about to chip off even more damage for us. And right now, we're doing very well against this guy. So I'm actually going to put another furn furnace down. But instead, I'm going to put it on that half. Now right here, I'm just going to put a princess down. She should take out that tower. And she should hopefully damage that lava hound now i do have to be kind of smart because i'm not too sure how i want to counter this keep in mind i don't have oh he okay this guy just wasted a fireball so i'm oh my god crap we got to worry about this now as i was saying though he did just kind of waste a fireball so that kind of gives us some we went leeway but again over there, we have the Mega Barbs just going in for us. Let's get that Princess down right about there. And at this point, we are pretty good. Now, this guy, he has a lot of crap coming in at us. So, right there, I'm going to have to uh, Lightning Spell that. Crap, I, I zapped the Miner instead of the Lava Hound. That right there is kind of a fail on my end. Um, he did Fireball me, which does suck. And right now, it looks like we are going to be taking an L. I need to get an Ice Spirit down to hopefully help me out. Please. Um, okay, I can z Okay, crap, crap, crap. Be smart, be smart. Oh my god, there's 20 seconds left. We can do this. We can do this. We're not gonna lose. I know this guy has a fireball. Oh my god, no. No. No! Oh my god, there's 10 seconds left. Oh my god, this guy's about to get another tower down. Log that guy out of there. Quick! Oh my god, 6 seconds. What are we gonna do? Can we end up- Oh my god. Okay, that's enough Clash Royale for the day. We ended up going 0-3. Let's open up this crappy ch- Oh, we got 18 more Elite Barbs. Not too bad, but as I was saying, that's enough Clash Royale for the day. We ended up going 0-3 with these Elite Barbarians. Now, were the Elite Barbarians the main reason I lost? Absolutely not. The main reason is I just suck at the game, and I've actually never used these decks before. It's pretty bad. I've pretty much come accustomed to this deck right here, so unless I have a Hog Cycle deck, the chances are I'm probably gonna lose the battle, but you guys don't care about the excuses. You're just here for the fun. But guys, this has been Eclipse. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and peace out.